Hello, today I'm going to show you guys how I make these unicorn ornaments. Ain't they darling? These are perfect for Christmas or just to decorate a little girl's room. I customize them by putting the name. You don't have to put the year. You don't have to put anything. You can just, you know, leave them plain like this however you want. So what we're going to need today is you're going to need an ornament. Mine's already colored. I did it myself. Um, you can buy them colored or glass. I prefer plastic. Uh, this is what they look like. They came from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. If y'all would like to know how I glitter them, just leave me a comment below. I'd love to do a tutorial on that. But you're going to need your ornament. You're going to need alcohol so you can spray your ornament down. We're going to go ahead and spray that down. Make sure it's good and clean because you want to make sure all your fingerprints and everything's off so everything sticks to it pretty well. You're going to need black vinyl. That's what I use for the eyelashes and the name in the back. You're going to need transfer tape to get your vinyl off. You're going to need felt for the pink part of the ear right here. See that? You're gonna need this for the outer part, the gold part. Both of these came from Hobby Lobby. Um, $1.50 for this and 26 cents for that. You're gonna need scissors. You're gonna need your hot glue gun, plenty of glue. And you're gonna need polymer clay to make your horn. I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna do a quick way. This, however, you do have to bake. I'm not going to go that far, but if y'all want me to do a tutorial on that, I can do that at a later time. All right. Here we go. Let's move this out of the way. And All right. I've already wiped it down, so we're good to go on that. All right. Grab your polymer clay. This comes in a variety of colors. Um, it doesn't matter to me what color I get because I color it myself. I mean, you can get it gold. However, it's not going to look exactly like this because it's been glittered and it's been sprayed. But you can, you know, leave it the color it is. Right, I put me a couple chunks out already. Roll it. Get it nice and soft because it's kind of like, you know, hard. You want to get a little room temperature. Okay, you're going to break off two pieces. We'll roll it up. And what we're going to do, we're going to roll it. And when, what you need is you need one. You want it to kind of look like a baseball bat but small. You need one end smaller than the other because you want it to be big. I mean, from small to big. So it's going to look like that. So you need two of those. I really like to make my own, but I've seen where people have used uh, the, uh, can the, not candy canes, but they're like icicles, but they're plastic and they hang on your Christmas tree. I've seen people cut those and use those. You don't have to use this. You can use anything and make it into a horn. All right. These right here measure a little over three inches, but you're not going to need all of that. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab these two and you're going to pinch them at the top and we're going to start twisting and twisting. There we go. That's what it's going to look like. don't have to be perfect, you know. So then you're going to take something flat, like a butter knife or anything. This came with my silhouette. And then you're going to cut it. You're going to cut it right in the bottom. These usually measure about two inches. You can make them longer. It doesn't matter. This one's exactly two inches. But your goal is to get it flat. You want it flat on the bottom, like that. You want it to stand. Here's some that I made in the white polymer clay. These you're going to put on a thing of aluminum foil. Set your oven at 280 and let them cook for 25 to 35 minutes. Just keep checking. I usually put aluminum foil on top of it, like make it a little dome. And then once they're done, they'll be nice and hard. And then how I do this is I take this spray paint. First, I spray paint it. You can get gold or silver. And these will last you for years. I mean... It only takes one coat, I promise, and then it's the color you need. And then I take a little bit of my Mod Podge, paint one thin layer, and then sprinkle it with, you can do silver. I did a silver one the other day. You can do silver, you can do pink, you can do any color you want. I just think the glitter gives it that extra little touch. It stands out and it kind of matches the ears really well. All right. Then... 
what you're going to need is, uh, you can do your own eyes. I mean, I've seen people take markers and draw them. If you're that good, go right on ahead. But I printed these out with my cameo. That's where the black vinyl comes in. And I printed out the little girl's name. It's already ready. I put transfer tape on it. It's ready. But like I said, you can draw them on. I've seen people just take a permanent marker and draw them on. If you're that good, you can do that. I would. That's what I would do. I mean, it save you a lot of time. But if you're planning on selling them or something, you know, it's a little extra touch that just really makes them, you know, look cute. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut out your little ears. This is what they're going to look like. And this is what you're going to cut out. This measures an inch and a half by inch and a half tall. Inch and a half tall, inch and a half wide. And you're just going to cut it out of your pleather. See where I've cut some out. And then you're going to cut out a piece of the pink felt. Now, you need a little bit smaller. So this is going to be about a little over an inch because you want it to hang over a little bit. See how that? You want some of that gold to stick out on the edge. And then when you flip it over, you need a little bit of this to be hanging off the end because that's what you're going to fold up like that to stick it to your ornament. So what you're going to do is take a little bit of glue and you're going to put a little bit of glue on here. Don't put glue over the whole thing because you want this part, no glue on it. And then you're going to take your felt and then you're going to put it right there on it. Like that. So you want some of the gold to show. And then you need that little flat. See that little flat? Because we're going to put glue right across there. You're going to put a little glue, just very little. Just enough for you to take and fold this up. Like that. See that little lip? You're going to hold it for a minute. Because that's how you're going to attach the ears to your ornament. It gives them, makes them stay a little better. Because, you know, sometimes kids, they see this, and the first thing you want to do is grab them up and play with them. And you want everything to stay on. So, therefore, you've got a little lip. See that? So, then you can glue it flat to a surface, and it's got something to hold on to. I've already got mine ready. And with them, they're almost two inches tall with the pink felt. All right. I've already cleaned my ornament with the alcohol. Let's go ahead and clean it again. You never can be too safe. This helps everything stick extremely well. Always, if you're gonna apply vinyl or something like that, always clean. If it's a coffee mug, plate, anything, it helps get off any fingerprints or anything. It helps everything hold on very well. All right, this part, I always, this right here pops off. So what I do is I put a little glue all the way around it you don't want the top to pop off and then hold it make sure it stays on you don't want your ornament falling apart while it's on the tree little kid come grab it and it fall apart because they will they pop right off they're not made on there very well all right once that's on here you have a little lip up there see that piece you want that to be flat and facing you when you go to decorate your ornament make sure it's facing you and flat then you're going to take your horn your horn should be, this one's two inches. I've seen some people make them almost three inches. It's totally up to you. I prefer the two inch. I think that's pretty good size. When you go to put your horn on, make sure it's not crooked. So you may have to turn it or whatever to make sure it's, and you're going to go all the way up against this. So your ornament ain't this way. You want it to be straight up. So put you some glue on here, generous amount. See that? Quite a bit. And then we're going to put it on. And then we're going to hold it. And we're going to go all the way up against this piece. All the way up against it. You're going to hold it for a minute to make sure that the glue's dried a little bit. We don't want anything popping off later on. And, oop, there goes a horn. So. And it doesn't matter if you've got, see that extra glue sticking out? It doesn't matter. You're not going to see it. You're not going to see it at all. I'd rather have a little more glue, make sure it doesn't pop off, than have a little bit of glue. And this is what it's going to look like. See how I went all the way up to the metal piece? All right. Now we're going to apply our ears. Now we're going to put the ears, not touching the horn, but enough where your pinky can go. So we're going to go about this close. 
you're gonna leave just a little space right there enough to where your pinky can go through that little lip on the bottom we're gonna put glue straight across that not too much one little strip should do it and then we're gonna put it on and then hold it for a second now I take my pick that came with my cameo but you can use anything and I push it down I'm gonna take it and help push help push it down just like that see how I'm gonna hold that down don't take very long it dries one thing about hot glue it dries pretty fast and that's one ear and like I said it's enough for your pinky to go through don't want it right up on it but close enough all right second ear we're gonna do the same exact thing not much glue just a little same here about a pinky size away from the horn hold it for a second to make sure it stays and then we're gonna push it down make sure it stays on there pretty well everything stays pretty good actually the hot glue keeps it and then that's what it's gonna look like all right i don't add my eyes to do my flowers these are the flowers i'm going to use i got these um off ebay really cheap they come in a a long row like this i think i paid 89 cents and you can pull them apart that's how they're attached and just cut it all right i'm gonna go with the pink and the teal i really like that i think it's really cute so I'm gonna cut that off. So what you're gonna do is grab your flower, gonna put a little bit of glue, and we're gonna put this right up on that horn. I mean, right up on it, like right there where that big blob of glue is. Put it right there and hold it. See, and that's what it's gonna look like. And then the other two we're not going to stick it in the center. It's going to be a little bit more closer to the horn. Now these, we're going to do the same exact thing. I'm looking for the bottom. You can't really tell. All right. Here's the bottom. I'm going to gather it. Put a little bit of glue on there. You don't need much because these hold pretty well. And we're going to put it like, not in the middle, but just a hair over. A little bit of glue there. Make sure that it's held on. And we're going to do the same exact thing over there. This one's got a little bit of that mesh. These come attached to mesh, almost like shabbies. You can use any kind of flowers. You can use paper flowers. It doesn't really matter. Believe me, it'll still turn out cute. It don't take much for these just to be darling. Just use your own little personal touch. There we go. There's the flowers. All right. Now we're going to do the eyes. Like I said, I print all these out. I, You can get these. I Googled eyelashes, traced them. You can do the same thing. You can Google them and trace them on a piece of felt and glue it on. Whichever you prefer to do. So, these have already been cut. You take a piece of your contact paper. Like this. Cut it. stick it on so there it is and now what we got to do is we got to go ahead and get those lashes to stick to this contact paper pull it off all right this is what it's going to look like all right so you're going to go down i'm guessing let's see about an inch and a half from your flower and that'd be about center you just eyeball it all right 
and then stick it down like that. Then you're going to take your scraper or whatever you use and scrape it on. All right. Then we're going to pull. There we go. All right. Now, sometimes my middle flower right here, I like to add a little bling to the center. So that's fine little diamond or something to go in the center you don't have to but I think it looks cute so we're gonna use this little diamond right here so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue in the center of my flower you don't have to but I think a little extra bling everything looks better with a little bling See? I need to hold it on make sure it stays on there pretty good There we go. All right. Now, we'll do the name. I printed this out. I'm not sure what font this is. I do believe it may be Play Ball. Not sure. All right. Go ahead and pull it off. Now, anytime you add a name or anything to something that's curved, you may have a little trouble getting it to stick. So, what I do is, is I kind of eyeball it. So, like right in the middle. So we're going to go ahead and stick the name on. And I'm going to start in the center and kind of like rub. Because we're going to work our way out to the right, to the left, to the right, to make sure everything sticks. Because like I said, anytime you put something on a round object, you know, sometimes you have a little difficulty, but it can be done. And if you get a little crease in something, it's really easy to fix. If we get one, I will show you guys how to fix it. So we're going to kind of like start out, like I said, from right to left or left to right. Just smooth it. All right. And then we're going to take our little scraper. And we're going to scrape. Now we're going to kind of roll it. Isn't that gorgeous? And my piece of contact paper here, I will reuse it several times. I just stick it on my desk and reuse it. All right, we're almost done. I like to use my, I use ribbon as far as to hang it. Like this. I usually like to match it with my flowers. I think it just adds an extra touch. So with this one, we're going to use pink. This ribbon is one fourth of an inch, really small. Let's see. And I usually cut about 17 inches. You don't need that much. You can use less. It's totally up to you. Got to heat seal both ends because they will unravel. And then we're just going to pull it through. And then we're going to make a little bow. Go down a little further. Just enough for it to hang on a tree. There we go. Now, wasn't that easy? Darling. And like I said, you can buy these ornaments already colored. You could do red. You could do blue. You could do silver. You could do any color you want. I mean, I personally like to do my own. It's just a little extra touch. If y'all would like for me to show y'all how I do them, just comment below and I would love to. Also, if you plan on selling these, they sell these little poly bags at the Dollar Tree. Here they are. I think they're darling. You can see the ornament through them. I think you get 25 bags for a dollar. And then I take the string that you use for balloons, whatever, and tie a little bow on top. Isn't that cute? Wouldn't any little girl love to get that to hang on their tree? All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos on anything. Just leave a comment below, and I would love to do that. Thank you, and y'all have a good holiday. Thank you.